What's up guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about why I chose to dive into content creation and cooking for others. Well, let me tell you, food has this magical ability to bring people together, and my hope is that by whipping up some delicious meals, I can make school a more enjoyable and purposeful place for students. Now, let me be real with you. Balancing a full-time teaching gig with raising two kiddos solo is no joke. It's a constant juggle between lesson plans, my kids' extracurriculars, and making ends meet. When I have that little bit of time, I usually record the night before, um, but then actually remake the meal that morning of waking up around 5 a.m. so the food is fresh. But you know what? At the end of the day, seeing the impact ha it has on my students makes it all worth it. So today, something pretty awesome happened. One of my students approached me, not about homework or grades, but about his upcoming birthday. He asked if I can cook him something for the occasion, and of course, I'd say yes. It got me thinking about the positive influences these videos and meals are having on these kids. I can reach these kids not just academically, but I can also build meaningful relationships with them through food. I work at a continuation school where many students are struggling with various challenges. My mission here is bigger than just teaching math or having them memorize formulas. It's about showing these young minds that there's more to life, that they matter, and that they belong, and, and to be simply happy in life. I want my students to have dreams and goals and mentor them to reach them. My goal is to keep cooking for students and hopefully make a difference year after year. I want to give a huge shout out to those who donated to support student meals. Your generosity means the world to me and to them. So when you watch my videos, I hope you see beyond just the cooking. I hope you see the heart and the purpose behind it all. Much love and let's keep spreading positivity together.